Superintendent Ben Lasky of the New York Department of Financial Services issued a statement saying that they have extended the comment period by 45 days. The new deadline for the comment period is October 21st, 2014. And uh, it basically doubles the amount of time that people have to submit official comments to the department about the bit license regulations. Um, <laughs> so people are, some people are, you know, saying this is a victory for the community that we, um, uh, we should celebrate this and use it to, to really launch, you know, a, a, like a new salvo of, of, you know, honest, hard hitting, you know, um, uh, rationally supported arguments uh, for, for changes that we would like to see in the bit license. So, um, what what do you think, Evan? Do you think this is this is a victory for us? Maybe a tiny, tiny little victory? No, I think it's one hundred percent defeat. Actually, because um, see, I don't know the Bitcoin community. Anybody watching this show probably. Um, at least knows about the open letter Jim Harper from the Bitcoin Foundation wrote to the New York Department of Financial Services, um, and if they haven't read it, they've at least known. They at least know about it. Um, and Jim Harper was probably was probably the first major influential person to ask for an extension, and he said that we should get at least three months. So when I when I saw the news that um, that Ben Lasky when when Ben Lasky said that they were extending the period by forty five days, my initial reaction was, "Wow, it's half of the minimum that the Bitcoin Foundation asked for." Um, and you know the and the foundation hasn't been hasn't exactly been aggressive with um, the DFS. Hmm. You know they actually. I, I, you know, dug a little bit into some sources that were provided, you know, to both me and you last week, um, and wrote a response. I wrote an open letter to the foundation where I dug into those in, into those sources they gave us, and um, one of them was a guy I can't remember his name, but he testified uh, in front of the in front of the um, the DFS, and um, it was. And he actually said that, um, and and he was speaking on behalf of the foundation, so this was his and the foundation's opinion. He supported uniform global regulation. Okay, so the foundation isn't exactly aggressive towards the department on um, on this regulation, and so Jim Harper said we need at least three months to to digest this information and to respond to it, and Ben Lasky was like. I'll give you half of that minimum, half of the minimum of your demand. Mm -hmm. So, if that's the if that's the DFS's idea of a compromise, giving us half of the least amount that we asked for, um, then that tells me that they don't really care about engaging with the community. They just want the community to think that they do, and in the meantime, they're just going to do whatever they want with the regulation. And that's my take on it. Well, um, they said, or Ben Lasky said, uh, he told CoinDesk that, you know, they've got a whole staff of people who are sifting through these comments that, that people email the department. And, you know, they, they sort them out into, like, different um, categories of comments, like uh, which part of the license they're crit criticizing. And that, you know, they're, they're actually reading all of them. So, um, do you believe them? Do you think they're actually reading them, or um, is it just like a like a is it just a show to to make people think that they care? Well, I'm sure they are reading them, but um, they're not going to listen to any comments unless uh, you know unless it's suggestions that wouldn't hurt the overall agenda. Gotcha. So, like, if I sent a comment, like, if I submitted a formal response to the department saying that no part of this proposal is good, all of it will hurt Bitcoin, um, and you should just abandon it altogether, yeah, they're going to read that, but they're going to read it and then throw it in the trash, you know? Yeah. It's, I, they're probably doing that a lot. There's, they're probably, they probably have a lot of 
trash cans just filled with proposals because they're only going to listen to the people if it if it they they want the public to make they want to make the public feel like they're doing something like they're that they're making a, a valid contribution to this regulation um, they want to create that feeling with the community, but then you know behind the scenes they're just going to keep doing whatever they want to do. Because mm-hmm. they basically have an agenda, right? Their agenda is to make the license, no matter what. There's going to be a license; it's going to happen. Um, they have in their mind, you know, what they want the provisions to look like. Their their overall goal, you know, they they want to track every single transaction. Um, they don't want uh, Bitcoin-related companies to hold profits in Bitcoin. They want them to hold profits in dollars instead. And, you know, that particular thing, the only motivation for that that I can think of is to help out the big banks in New York who, you know, who would love for these Bitcoin companies to hold large bank accounts with the banks with fiat money, right? So, like, the, the department has their own um, agenda, which, in, in my theory, is mostly to co-opt Bitcoin uh, companies into the banking system and allow banks to, you know, not only get more deeply involved with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, but also to allow um, banks to, you know, to apply all of the um, strict rules and regulations that they have to go through and you know, crank those up to eleven, and then put it on Bitcoin and um, make them deal with it as well. <clears throat> um, so they've 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 got their agenda, and you know, <laughs> um, when when Ben Lasky extended the comment period, he also said that um, like people had a misconception about what um, some provisions um, their goal was. He said that. Oh, all these people who think that it's going to apply to software developers, uh, don't, don't, don't worry. It doesn't apply to software developers. Um, but the reason people thought that in the first place is because the bit license says that it applies to you know um, these virtual currency businesses, and that the virtual currency business includes um, you know like wallets, wallets for holding Bitcoin. Um, he said that he, there's a direct quote that Ben Lasky said in a New York radio interview where he said that the bit license is supposed to apply to wallets and you can read the, the, um, document for yourself and virtual currency business includes people who help to secure or hold your Bitcoin, you know, in that's kind of ambiguous in, in the Bitcoin world because people who help to secure and hold your Bitcoin that can be construed to apply to um, software developers like Hive Wallet, uh, Blockchain Wallet, Electrum. I mean, you name it. There's all these. And so, you know, Ben Losky had to come out and explicitly say in the past week that, no, we're not going after you guys. Don't don't worry. We don't want to <laughs> we don't want to hurt software developers. But like, yeah, that's the like problem. With laws. That's the problem with laws. You, you you make it purposely ambiguous or even accidentally ambiguous and it creates so much uncertainty in the entire industry it's like software developers are wondering like wow is this guy really attacking us with these ridiculous regulations even though we just make some code for people to run on their computer or their smartphone to hold their bitcoin securely so maybe even if it it is it isn't in ben lasky's explicit agenda to go after them the law can still make people think that it's going after them just by how ambiguous it is yeah, and that might not have been uh, Lasky's original intent to make the law so broad, um, but then once you give it up to to um, the DFS and it's out of Ben Lasky's hands as far as enforcement goes, um, you know they can interpret that regulation any way they see fit. And so if they if they felt like um, prosecuting a wallet provider one day then they could do it because the the law is broad enough to allow them to 